Hi, I'm Doug, Creative Director at PlayFusion. We're a small independent game studio based in Cambridge, UK, and we're making Ascendant, a squad-based tactical PvP FPS with a brand new game mode. We've added a modern twist to the retro classic Capture the Flag, where four teams battle over three biocores to see who comes out on top. Set in an 80s-themed biopunk world where no two games are ever the same. Hi, my name is Benny. I'm one of the two designers on Ascendant. One thing I really like about the game is that the main objective is actually really simple. It's all about getting into the map, getting a biocore and securing it, and most biocores wins. However, along the sidelines are all these cool events, so the more you play, the more you learn about the map and the events taking place in it, and the more tools you have to secure that win. Each match of Ascendant takes place on the same map, but where you can access the map is different match on match. But it's never truly random. Behind the scenes we have something called a game director, and the game director is responsible for crafting the experience for all the teams involved, making sure the match is fair, but also contains the unique experience game on game. This includes where all the teams will start, where the bio are located, and also which rooms and buildings from the map are available that session. And the different rooms in the map are more than just 3D gameplay spaces. And they also contain different type of content, like what kind of loot you can find, different rooms have different consumables, different weapons. Events come in different sizes, some of them are uh, small stations you can capture for your team to get various benefits, whereas other things are much larger and more map-wide that can impact all the teams around the game, uh, like large airstrikes, big combat vehicles, or even monsters you can possess and control. Hi, my name is Chris and I'm the other game designer on Ascendant. We do have NPCs in our game. It's more of a loot pinata, like a fun way of getting loot. And the game director is also responsible for making sure that experience is fair. We know getting killed by the zombie that picked you instead of the team you're fighting against is annoying. So our game director is making sure like, that is completely under control. NPCs that are fighting during PvP will actually disengage to let the PvP play out. So we want it to be fair and fun every session. So most shooters are fight or flight, whereas we like to say adapt or die. There's tons of ways you can do that simple objective of grabbing a biocore. You could try and be the first team there and defend it, or you could try and ambush the team that get the biocore. You could just leave it completely. A simple decision you can make would be, let everyone fight for A, let's go for B or C, and you have a quiet game. Or, say you get there and die, you could respawn, we do have lives, and go shopping. We have an in-session item called power, which you can use to unlock stronger gear and equipment that is persistent for the session. So if you die, it's not back to square one for you. For example, with Chris and I play together, Chris tends to run straight into the map, so he goes to the center and he starts scouting the locations, where the bio cores, which shops are active, what weapons are in them, and which events are active. While he's doing that, I'm hanging back in the forest and gathering power and supplies that we can then use to buy custom weapons, shields, upgrades, uh, while still having the knowledge of where the bio cores are, which events are active, and we can adapt our game plan from there. So it's a team game, and everything's been designed with teams in mind. From a communication point of view, we have an extensive ping system, we've got VoIP, we've got text chat, and even the systems you use in the game to play with are also designed with teams in mind. So for example, if I use power to unlock an item, the power is also given to my teammates and they can choose to spend it as they wish. Because the events are open to everyone, it, it creates a really interesting decision-making point. Because if you use an airstrike, for example, if I use that, I'm giving away my location, even if it means bombing the map and maybe killing loads of people as a result. Likewise, if I survive an airstrike, I now know where to go to fight the person that pulled that lever against me. There are literally millions of combinations of weapons you can create. And it's not just adjusting recoil or how many bullets you have in your magazine. You can do all sorts of crazy things with your gun. You can take a bog standard sniper rifle, turn it into a long range carpet bomber. Or you can take a, a battle rifle and turn it into a poison spewing SMG. It's not just your weapons you can customize. You can also make your character whoever you want it to be. This means what they look like, but also what perks and abilities you have access to. An ability is a powerful move you will have access to when you're carrying the bio core. In addition to your ability, you have two combat perks and two utility perks. Uh, these let you enhance certain strengths of your character and give access to different playstyles. And what sort of perks you go for depends a lot on what sort of role you want to take on in the game. Here, this is a, a space where you can see other players, interact with them. We've got mini games you can play, and obviously you can get ready for the sessions. If you want to test guns, you can also grab those, test them in our jewel arena, our firing range. And there's also stuff that's completely hands-off guns as well. We have social activities like playing hide and seek or doing parkour or time trials. We even have a racetrack. For the progression, we've gone for a breadth of depth approach. This means that you don't have to follow a predefined path. Whichever order you want to lock things in is completely up to you. So if you want to be a shotgunner or a scout or bio core carrier or a support player, you can immediately target those kind of perks, modules and abilities. This is a very small look at the world of Ascendant. And with Close Beat around the corner, we can't wait to see the choices that you make to get those bio cores and secure the win. Yeah.